Hi there and welcome. This video will show you how to build different branches in your workflow with different endings. So to explain what I mean, let's take a look at a quick example. This workflow is looking for new entries on a Google form. Now the form is essentially a way for customers to submit questions or issues they might have. They'll select a topic such as billing or workflow building and they'll add more details. Whenever they do that, the entry is going to be transformed into a card on Trello and then cards with the details can be used to manage the progress of the work on these issues. Now we can further expand this workflow by building two branches inside it. So let's say you have a billing specialist on your team and you want to send all the billing related issues to that specialist in an instant message on Slack, for example. And then you might have other team members working on other reported issues of your customers. So let's first build the branch that's going to inform our billing specialist. For that, we'll use the Slack app, so we'll find it first. Choose the Slack app and then select the create a message module. So once we have our Slack module set up, we can just go ahead and start building the second branch in our workflow. So to make this easier, we can just go ahead and copy the Slack module. So to do that, just right click and select copy module, and then we can paste it down here below. Now the next step is to add a router in our workflow. So to do that, we can click the line and select add a router. Now we can drag the Slack module closer to it and it's gonna automatically connect and create a second branch. Let's auto align our workflow so that it's nicely centered like so. So now we'll use the upper branch to send the billing issues to our billing specialist. So to do that, we'll use a filter. So to add a filter, you can either click this wrench icon and select set up a filter, or you can click the line that's connecting the two modules and start defining your filter. We can select the label for our filter. In this case, it can be called billing issues. And then for the conditions, we can click this field here and choose the data from the Google Forms. So we'll use the choose the topic question. And this filter is going to check if the topic is equal to billing. So we'll type that in manually and we'll confirm the setup. So this means that only the billing issues will be allowed through the upper branch. And now we can use the bottom branch to send all the other issues to someone else on the team. So let's define another filter. This time it can be called other issues. And for the condition, we'll use the topic again. But this time, this filter will be checking if it's not equal to billing. So all the other issues that are not billing will be allowed through the filter on this bottom branch. Okay, so now our workflow is ready to go and we can test it. So when we click the run once button, it should grab three reported issues from the Google form and it should create three cards on Trello. So we can see that it has done just that. And then it sent one message through the upper branch and two messages through the bottom branch. Now we can click this filter icon and see more details. And we can see that the first issue was related to billing. So it was allowed through the filter on the upper branch. And then there were other two issues which were related to other topics. So they were not allowed through. And for the bottom branch, we can see that two items were allowed through the filter. The first one was related to billing. So it was not allowed through. And then the second and third one were a lot through because they were related to other issues. Okay, so we've covered the basics of building different branches in your workflow and then using filters to make sure that the data goes to the right places. I hope this was helpful and I'll see you in another video.